practical things like how are we going to be able to take this away and take an action from this so and i know we still have 25 minutes and we have oh, eight more things that i want to ask you about but let's see if you I'll, can I'll, I'll, I'll try and go fast but here's the thing i feel like every single thing in the marketing world has changed in the last two years right i believe that TikTok completely changed the game and it's not because TikTok is the greatest app ever. It's not because everybody needs to go out and start uh, marketing on TikTok, right? But I believe that TikTok changed the way we communicate and the way we look at video. I don't know about you guys, but I remember the first time I opened TikTok and the videos start playing and I'm scrolling and the sound's on and it's super obnoxious. I went, what in the, I'll never, I'll never use this app, right? I hated it. But once I found the, the connection, I found the, you know, the, the side of TikTok that actually applied to me, it was totally different because the thing that TikTok did that changed everything in the marketing game is they started doing super authentic videos, right? It wasn't the polished video of, hi, I'm Nick Skogard from Alter Ego Marketing. I'm gonna teach you the three lessons of marketing today. What it literally was is some guy going like, ah, oh, I just woke up this morning and I've got this huge campaign that I don't want to do and he's in his pajamas still, right? You feel like you're getting let in on the secret. That BTS, that behind the scenes content changed the entire game because instead of having, instead of having this like super polished video where somebody's lecturing to you, they're sharing their stories and where that becomes wildly powerful for you as a small brand is like quit, quit freaking out. Hit record, start telling what you're doing today, what you care about, where the pain points are, and, and break down the guard, right? Stop trying to curate your image to be perfect because if you go and you buy a product on Amazon or something like that, right? Do you read the five-star reviews or do you read the three-star reviews? 